Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be discussing everything we know so far about the up and coming winter holiday DLC update for GTA Online. Now, despite the release of GTA 6 being just around the corner, it seems like Rockstar is also cooking up some new content for GTA 5 Online to keep us entertained while we wait. Now, in previous years, the winter slash December update has always been the biggest update of the year, and it seems like this year may be the same case. So today, we're going to be discussing everything we know so far about this update, what we can expect, when it's going to be coming, and all of that good stuff. So we got a ton of really awesome and exciting information to discuss today, but first off, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, and subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and right out onto the actual video. Now today's shoutout goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Digital Wave. Now, as a lot of you already know, I love supporting up and coming creators, especially ones that are uploading content surrounding video games. Now, Digital Wave uploads all sorts of really awesome Let's Play videos surrounding Pokemon. And what I love most about their videos is that they upload their videos in a series format. So that means that each video is clearly labeled and each video has its own story that progresses on top of the last. So this makes it one of the best channels that I've seen in a while to really just binge watch for hours and hours without getting bored. And best of all, Digital Wave already categorized everything into video playlists on their channel. So if you're looking for a specific game or a specific series, you can go ahead and find that easily. And best of all, they upload new videos pretty much every single day. So there's always something new and fresh to watch on their channel. So go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to subscribe to Digital Wave on YouTube for some really awesome gameplay videos. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, in previous years, Rockstar has saved the biggest DLC for GTA 5 Online of the year to be released in December. Now, this makes a lot of sense. December is a perfect time for developers to release what they've been working on throughout the year. It's also a good time because a lot of people are spending money on gifts and in-game items. And overall, it's just a good time to release a massive DLC into GTA 5. So Rockstar has been doing this the past several years, but with the release, or at least the announcement of GTA 6 just around the corner in early December, there's been a lot of questions as to what's actually going to happen with GTA 5, and whether there will even be a DLC this year for Christmas and the holidays. Now, based on what we know so far, and based on what Rockstar Games CEO Strauss Zelnick has said in the past during interviews, Rockstar Games will continue supporting GTA 5 Online with new DLC up until the release of GTA 6, and then after that, maintaining the game with security updates. This goes hand in hand with what Rockstar has done in the past. Compared to other game publishers, including Ubisoft and EA, Rockstar has had a very good run in terms of keeping older games online for many years to come, and even providing pretty regular security updates where needed. So based on what we know so far, up until the release of GTA 6, which is likely going to happen in mid next year, we will still continue to receive new DLC for GTA 5. In fact, I think Rockstar announced either yesterday or earlier today that there's actually a special event going on this week in GTA Online. So nothing is really going to change in that regard. Rockstar Games still has a team that is separate from the main team that is working on GTA Online DLC. So that's going to continue getting pumped out. And the next big update is, of course, this year's holiday update. Now, based on what we know so far, Rockstar Games will be doing the usual plus something special if we get lucky. The usual being massive discounts, so sales on pretty much everything in GTA Online, free gifts just for logging on, of course the snow mode, which I know is everyone's favorite, and that's also going to be added into the crater mode, so you can create races in the snow and all of that good stuff and pretty much all of the usual holiday stuff, including the decorations and all the things that we can look forward to. 
In terms of special content in this update, we kind of have two main things that we can look forward to. The first one is a more traditional style DLC that Rockstar has been doing pretty much every December for the last couple of years, where they include a new large heist mission, possibly including a new character here and there, and just having a big heist in GTA Online. This has become popular over the years, especially the ones that require prep and really just merge the worlds between single player and online. So that's a possibility that Rockstar may in fact be working on. The other possibility is something that we've talked about on this channel several times, at least over the past couple of months, which is the update featuring Michael. Now, this was an update that Rockstar was working on a while ago. If you haven't already heard about it yet, it was essentially supposed to be a continuation towards the end of the single player campaign where Michael is working at the movie studio and there was actual code found in the game for this update. So Rockstar was definitely working on at least something in regards to that, but that ended up getting removed. Now, the voice actor for Michael did provide some light hints that he may be coming into GTI Online, and at the end of the day, he is the only single-player character, at least from the main ones, that has not been added to GTI Online over the years. So I think it would be a really good finale for GTI Online, especially considering this will be the last final December update, which is usually, again, saved for the large updates over the years. So I think that Rockstar has a really good opportunity here to add something really valuable to the finale of GTI Online by adding all three single player characters and really merging single player and online into one experience. I think that would be really, really cool. Now, I personally am a big fan of the single player campaign of GTA 5, so I feel a pretty personal connection to this. So I would really love to see something along those lines in GTA 5 in terms of what actually is going to be happening with Michael. The fact that he's working at the movie studio based on the leaks that we know from the code, that is pretty much it. So there's definitely going to be some type of mission. We're going to have to wait and see how it happens. Ideally, I would actually like to see a combination of the two updates that we're expecting, or at least the two options that we're expecting. Adding Michael and then also adding a massive heist mission surrounding him, online characters and single player characters, I think that would make for a really awesome update. And of course, throughout 2024, we will of course continue receiving new content in GTA Online. Now do not expect any major updates because this upcoming update in December is likely going to be the final major one. So keep an eye out for at least some updates because again, Rockstar will continue supporting GTA 5, but don't expect anything too major. So in terms of look, what to look forward to, we have the GTA 6 reveal that is likely going to be happening sometime next week, which is really exciting in early December, if not the week after. So keep an eye out for that and also check out my video coverage if you want more information on the reveal, when we're expecting it, what we're expecting, and all of that good stuff. And then later this month in December, likely during the last two weeks of the year, that is when we're going to expect Rockstar to release this year's holiday DLC. The update is likely going to be released without any trailers or anything along those lines. It's likely going to be released, a video will be put out, and that's going to be the update. So stay tuned on the channel. Once we learn more information about when we may be expecting it, I will of course make sure to update you guys. But I definitely wanna hear from you, all of you in those comments down below. What do you think is the perfect finale for GTA Online? Myself personally, I made my thoughts clear. I think having Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, plus your online characters, at least doing some type of heist or some type of mission, I think that, even though it's pretty simple, I think that would make a really awesome finale. But let me know your thoughts and ideas in those comments down below, because I really wanna hear from all of you. By the way, if you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to stay updated on the latest news surrounding GTA 6 and of course the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video and subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. By the way, thank you again so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you soon with yet another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day. I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.